Well, it's dropped anchor twice in Pensacola, each time drawing crowds for tours and photos. But the Royal Spanish Navy training vessel, the Elcano, well, it's now garnering attention for a different reason. Meg McNamara joins us in the studio with more on how this famed ship has found itself at the center of a global drug trafficking operation. Yes, well, the Juan Sebastian de Ocano is certainly a sight to see. New York narcotics officers say this beautiful tourist attraction was the perfect cover-up for drug traffickers carrying their illicit cargo across the Atlantic. Crowds gathering, kids pointing, and people taking pictures. What you would expect with the four-masted schooner that has become a symbolic floating embassy for Spain. But four kilograms of cocaine and four kilograms of heroin? Not so much. Yet this is exactly what officers recovered in a storeroom for reserve sales in May of 2014. Fast forward one year to May of 2015 and the famed ship was anchored right here in the port of Pensacola. The ship was also here in 2009. Now there's no evidence so far that the Elcano had drugs aboard while it was here, but authorities don't think the smuggling was an isolated incident. The drug ring investigation came to a head last January when New York City narcotics prosecutors arrested Jorge Luis Oyek and Jorge Alberto Seattle Alvarez and charged them with major trafficking. At the center of the investigation was a shipment of eight kilograms of cocaine and heroin delivered to New York City by Spanish midshipmen in training to become officers of the Spanish Navy aboard Elcano. A wiretap revealed that the Colombian traffickers agreed to pay the men $32,000 to hide the narcotics aboard Elcano and deliver it to the New York City-based traffickers. And we reached out to the Pensacola Police Department and the port to see who has authority over vessels while anchored here in Pensacola. And the city tells us that authority lies with a local customs agent. Reporting in the studio, Meg McNamara, Channel 3 News.